morning. It is 37 degrees out right now and supposed to get cold. Um, I'm hoping that it does. It's supposed to get down to 17 tonight, uh, the high of 12 tomorrow, and then get down to 5 tomorrow night. Uh, and then after that, it's supposed to warm up to like, I don't know, 40, 50 degrees again. So we're going to have about two days worth of frozen ground. There goes Sipes Farms. Wait for it. There they go. Uh, but anyhow, uh, it's going to freeze and I'm hoping to get a bunch of turkey litter spread. Now, I don't want to spread on saturated ground that's frozen because when it thaws back out, you can have runoff and I don't want that. So since this is a creek bottom too, I'm going to run a chisel plow through it after it freezes. Um, so we're going to double team it. We're going to be spreading and, um, trying to get it worked in. So that's, that's the game plan. Got the old girl started. Just needed a little persuasion. You'll have that on them bigger jobs. All right, today we are loading out turkey turds, dumping them in the manure barn in this old Ford truck, old dump truck. Told them I'd help them out, help get cleaned out since I'm buying all the litter off of them. I buy all the litter off of them all the time. I think I bought pretty much all of it for oh, about a year and a half now. And I hope I can keep doing it. So driving back and forth, getting loaded up with a skid steer. Got a couple of these trucks just making circles around the barns and dumping it in the manure barn and then get it. Since a lot of what I'm spreading is so close to these barns, there's really no point in dumping it in the field and it's muddy. So I'm just gonna have to wait till it freezes anyhow. But uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. Loading. It smells like money going into the truck. Well, here's load number four for the day, and uh, it's already dark, but I didn't get started until later, but pretty much every time that uh, I dump this thing, that little song pops in my head that's like, time to do some sketchy shit, da," because that's basically what we're doing, is some really, really sketchy stuff dumping this in the mud on unlevel ground with a frameless trailer and round the bottom at that that it really doesn't want to come out of, but we're still upright for now. Nobody's dead yet, but we might be by the end of the day. Who knows? But, uh, hey, cheap fertilizer. I'm willing to do some sketchy stuff for this. Dumping. I mean, it's kind of a long way up there. It's uh, a little taller than the truck is, but it's coming out. It doesn't help that the wind's blowing really hard right now, straight out of the north up against this trailer. You can see her teeter-tottering in the wind, but it's not all come out yet. So we're gonna keep rocking it and see what happens. Luckily, the Calvary just got here and he's gonna shove it in piles for me that way not so spread out and it is coming out of the trailer now I don't know if you can see it or not but it is coming out so that's good all right I mounded up those four loads into one pile here that way they're not strung out and I've got way more room to dump tomorrow so we're gonna shut this thing off it is getting downright cold uh, it's dropped from like 37 down to 19 in like the past hour, it's really windy. But I'll shut this off, take the semi home, and uh, hopefully we'll get this spread tomorrow. I don't know, maybe, we'll see. But hoping I can get some spread tomorrow and then get some spread the next day. I'd love to get this 120 acre farm spread and then chisel plowed in. But we'll see. Um, you know, the more I get done now, the less I got to do in the spring. So just going to try and get as much done as possible. The whole chisel plowing thing I don't really want to do, but it's going to be a necessary evil 
in order to get this manure on and know that it's still there. Um, I don't want to work it in necessarily, but with the ground being as saturated as it is and chances of rain about every day after it falls out, I really think it's probably my best bet. So we're gonna chisel it. Luckily that chisel plow has, uh, it's got straight shanks on it, not, it does not have uh, curved shanks. So it uh, doesn't turn near as much dirt over. But anyhow, I got a tire dragon, so I'm gonna quit recording now. Doing a little hydraulic hose fixing on this chisel plow. Now, this is just a nine shank Glencoe chisel. It's pretty clapped out, I'm not gonna lie. But, uh, you know, it's gonna work. Is the Steiger overkill for it? Absolutely. I'm pretty sure the tractor might be wider than the plow, but hey, we're still gonna send it. But first we had to put a hydraulic hose on it because I went to hook on it earlier today and spewed hydraulic fluid everywhere. So new hose, we'll be in business. I am not dressed for how cold it is. After it got dark, it's only seven o'clock, but after it got dark, it got cold and I am not a fan of it. I wouldn't be bad, but damn, it was 40 degrees when I walked out of the house this morning and that's what I'm dressed for, not 10. So... Tomorrow we're putting a few more layers on, cause this kind of sucks. It's cold outside, but it at least feels good in here. That fireplace does wonders in here, but I insulated this very, very well. Still haven't got the bathroom done, but hey, it's insulated. So it's 55 out there in the shop. Got fireplace on there too, but that's on the TV. Cause we were hanging out here last night, but uh, it's 55 in here or it's like 70 in here but that thing just kicked on but it is very nice to have somewhere to walk in and warm up so i like the office well i've figured out that the upside to having a diesel pickup now is the fact that i have two batteries on that truck to jump start farm equipment that's always dead instead of just one Cold starting. Oh, and the sprayer's dead too, because I went to move that. So while we're here, we're gonna go ahead and charge that up and get it running too. Everything's dead around here lately. I hate cold weather. And now while we sit here and wait on this to jump start, we enjoy the sweet, sweet sound of the Steiger sitting there just purring straight piped. If you can't appreciate that sound, I'm sorry, but I can't appreciate you. And I even forgot if, yeah, this is like not lighting up at all. I may have the battery disconnect off. I think I actually turned it off after it went dead, which doesn't really make any sense, but I'm pretty sure that's what I did. So we'll climb down here and we'll flip that and see if we got any juice at all or not. Yeah. Let's try not to complete the circuit of these two. Because if I touch my fingers there, it's not gonna feel real good for me. Got the drill back in here. Barely fits, but it does fit. Let's see if we got juice now. Oh, we got juice now. Heck yeah. I mean, even though it won't start right now, you guys have no idea how excited I am to run this thing and start spraying. <laughs> I can't wait. I mean, I'm gonna live in this thing if all goes to plan this summer. So, I'm trying to figure out where in the hell, there it is. It's blowing cold air. Shut that off. It's blowing cold air in here. But uh, if all goes to plan, I'm gonna live in this thing this summer doing custom work. So, I'm excited about that. You wanna see something cool that really just put me in a bad mood today? Bolt bin decided to fall off the wall. So, get to sort through that now. I'm not really looking forward to it. Still cleaning up junk in the shop, but for now we're gonna go grease the Steiger while we're waiting on the sprayer to jump because I can't move my pickup. 
I can't move the Steiger until I move my pickup, and I can't move my pickup until the freaking sprayer starts. So, if it ain't one thing, it's another. So, I'm gonna do some greasing. All right, well, it started. Blah, blah, blah. Anyhow, it started, so now that it's going, I'm gonna let it sit here and run and charge itself up for a little bit. But uh, while it's charging, we'll unhook it and go take the Steiger outside and hook it onto the chisel plow. So, yes. Productivity at its finest. And when I shut it off this time, I'm gonna actually shut the battery disconnect off. That way when I go to use this next time, it might actually start. Not that I'm gonna be using it anytime soon, because I won't be, but I just gotta get her all going, you know. Anyhow, let's unjump it. Got a flat tire already too, so if it's not dead, it's got a flat tire around here. One thing or another. All right, let's go hook this whole rig up to the chisel plow. I don't know how much power it takes to pull a nine shank chisel in frozen ground, but I know how much I'm gonna use. All lit up. Real disc got abandoned back there. I'm not gonna tear it up in frozen ground. I'd say every bearing would be out of it. I'd have blades broke and everything else. I'm not about to try that, but uh, ideally I would rather do a lot lighter tillage than what I'm gonna do with the chisel plow, but at least with the chisel plow, it's got straight shanks instead of curved ones. So I shouldn't like completely turn it over, but I don't, it's, it's a little more aggressive than I wanna do. I wouldn't necessarily care to chisel it just to get rid of some compaction, but I just ripped it last year, so it doesn't really need it. I mean, it's pretty mellowed ground. I really don't wanna chisel it, but it's really the only tillage tool that I have that I could run through frozen ground and not tear the hell out of. And this is like a $1,500 chisel, so even if I do tear the hell out of it, $1,500 chisel. I mean, there's nothing you can't really weld or, you know, it, there's not much to a chisel. So if I crack the frame and pull it in half, I can weld it back together. It's not, not the end of the world. So yeah, let's get it hooked up. I'm really, really surprised it's a lot drier than I thought it was. This tractor doesn't even know that plow is back there, which I mean, it shouldn't. It's a 200 well, it's a 300 horse tractor. It's turned up to 300 horse. It's a 300 horse tractor. I want a nine shank chisel. I mean, it, it shouldn't know it's back there, but I'm not gonna spread anything tonight. I'm not gonna plow anything tonight. I was just making sure that this plow was gonna work. I mean, I had to try it, come on. But uh, it does, so uh, I'm gonna throw some grease at the plow in the morning and uh, put fuel in this tractor tonight. And then all I'll have to do in the morning is fuel up the Magnum and grease the manure spreader. And we should be good to go. So it's gonna be happy hauling tomorrow. We're gonna let the turkey turds fly and uh, hopefully start getting some of them plowed in. Like I said, it's a lot drier than I thought it was. I am genuinely surprised. I mean, three days ago it was soup. And uh, it's been really, really windy the past three days. And I don't know, it's dried out quite a bit. So I don't know, we're going to a creek bottom. So I'm sure we'll find some mud, but hopefully it's froze up enough that it doesn't matter then. So it's the game plan tomorrow. See if it actually works out that way or not. 200 and some odd gallon tank, $4 a gallon. This one hurts a little bit. Good thing it's free here at the farm until the fuel man comes and fills it up. Just eat it all at once and sit down when you write the check, but at least when you fill the tractor up, you don't feel it every time. Well, my wife doesn't like when I take a truck home with a trailer on it because it screws up the way she parks, so we're taking the old GMC home tonight, leaving my pickup here. I mean, it's literally like maybe a quarter mile, so I think we'll live. But anyhow, that's going to be it for tonight. But uh, 
tomorrow we're gonna hit it hard flinging turkey turds and plowing them in so stay tuned keep watching and thanks for watching so far